Okay, so now I'm going to make macaroni and cheese. Again, <laughs> looks like I went to Tesco. Oh, that makes more sense. Um, so I'm going to use Tesco's macaroni. Um, that's quite cheap. I've got um, cheese sauce mix. Normally I wouldn't use that, I would make my own sauce, but today is like a mammoth day where I'm doing a lot of stuff, so I'm using that. I've chosen three packets, I think that's going to be enough. I'm putting ham in it, chopped up some ham, stirring it for extra protein. Um, because I think, you know, it's quite carb heavy, isn't it? So um, that's what I've done. I've, I've chopped some, you can put chicken in it if you want, whatever your you or your child you know really likes i think ham is quite a good choice it's quite universal so i've got some ham slices and i've um, cut them up with a pair of kitchen scissors into manageable bite-sized pieces and i'm going to stir that in so first of all i'm going to cook my macaroni um, in boiling water until it's done and alongside that while that's cooking i'm going to make my cheese sauce so when all that's done i will come back Okay, so I've made my cheese sauce. This is about the consistency you want. Um, I don't want it very thick because I'm going to bake it in the oven afterwards. Obviously, pop it in the, in the oven to cook. Um, and you will find that the pasta is a natural thickening agent as well. So you really don't, otherwise you'll end up with just blocks of mac and cheese and it won't be very pleasant. And also in a moment, I'm going to stir in a little bit of grated cheese as well just for that extra richness. Here's my macaroni cooking. It's not there yet. Keep it going until that's cooked. So as I said, I'm going to put pop some grated cheese in as well, just for an extra richness in the sauce. Um, and that will thicken it up naturally as well. So I might even add a little drop more milk to that when the, um, when the cheese, as you can see, it's thickening as I stir. So, um, yeah, you want it just coating the back of your spoon. Okay. Okay, so I have drained my macaroni into a big bowl. I find this is a lot easier. Um, and this is my dish that I'm going to cook it in. Okay, so I've drained my macaroni. I'm now going to, sorry if it's steamy. <laughs> I'm now going to pop my cheese sauce in. Give it a stir and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm stirring my sauce, which I've cooked thoroughly because it is, when you use, I mean, when you make your own, you have to cook it through anyway, but um, you can get it to be a bit powdery, get that powdery taste, which isn't very nice. So always make sure it's thoroughly cooked. Um, I did have, add a couple of ounces of grated cheese to the sauce just for enrichment. Um, I cooked a tiny, tiny bit of onion in the microwave I've just softened it off in the microwave just for flavor I'm going to add that I've not cooked my pasta in salted water and I'm not adding any salt to this either um, bearing in mind this is for a child um, if it's for an adult absolutely season it as you want as you desire but because it's for a child and I'm trying to um, cut down on the salt then I'm not actually going to do that. So when we've popped all that in, we'll just stir it all through. Okay, so we've incorporated the onion and the ham into the macaroni and cheese sauce, and then I've popped it into my serving dish, like so. And what I like to do is I like to get the crust of a loaf of bread, nine times out of 10 it goes in the bin, doesn't matter if it's a bit stale, and I make my own breadcrumbs. Um, literally with a grater, just breadcrumbs. And with that, I put a bit of grated cheese. And this makes my topping. So I'm just gonna sprinkle that evenly over the top. And when it comes out of the oven, this will add a crunch to the top. Give that a little bit of a different texture rather than um, being sloppy and wet. Um, and I found the kids like this. You can also, um, if you've got a packet of plain crisps that's just about to go out today or nobody wants, 
crush those up, add those with it. They work brilliantly. Or be too happy to add a flavour. I've never done that, but I'm sure you could. Right, so that's that. That's my topping. So you have to excuse my camera skills because I am on my own. Right, and then I am just going to arrange down the centre. Some tomato. There we go. And I'm going to pop that in the oven. I'm going to pop it in at 170 and I will cook it for about 20 minutes and I'll show you what it's like when it comes out. Hi, so uh, I popped it in the oven, the mac and cheese in the oven, as you can see. Um, it's still bubbling around the edges. I've just taken it out. I've had it on about 180. Um, lowered the shelf a bit and popped it on 180. Um, and I've had it in for just shy of 25 minutes. Um, and till it's golden and it's bubbling and cooked. I'm gonna have some for my lunch because it's 25 to one now. I'm getting a bit peckish after all this cooking. Um, the rest I'm going to portion up just as I did with the chili con carne. Um, leave it to cool for a minute and then I'm going to portion it up um, into my containers, which I will show you, obviously. Um, allow to cool, pop the tops on and pop in the freezer. Again, so cheap. Um, I can't, the cheese sauce was on offer. The mac, macaroni was about 60p, I think, 57, 58, something like that. Um, tomato I'd got in the fridge anyway. The ham I'd got in the fridge anyway. Um, and a little bit of grated cheese, which I'd got knocking about anyway. I'd got a bit of cheese I just grated. So, uh, but I mean, you can always buy a bag, I do that as well. And I'll get quite a few out of this, it's quite large. So I will get quite a few portions out of this. Um, as I said, you can pop chicken with it if you don't like ham or if you're, whoever you're cooking for. Or you can slice sausage up and put that in, that's really nice as well. Um, children love that as well. So, and also, this is so easy, they can actually help you make it. You know, it's super easy, super quick. Um, nutritious, especially if you put the protein in to counteract the carbs. Serve it with a bit with a bit of salad. Um, absolutely amazing. So, if you love what you've seen so far, please like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you soon. Thank you. Bye. So I've started to portion up. I'm going to leave the rest of it goes cold. This is my lunch. As you can see, it's still moist. You've still got some of the cheese sauce, so it's not absolutely solid. Um, if you make your cheese sauce too thick, then it will go like a solid lump. Um, so uh, we're on the thinner side. But yeah, have a go and enjoy.